Mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. And I am no exception. But we all learn from our mistakes. And if you're smart, you learn from others' mistakes as well. So in this video, I'll tell you four of such big mistakes that I did after coming to Canada in this last couple of years. And one of them actually costed me more than $80,000. Oh no! So you don't repeat those mistakes and you save a lot of money and hassle for you. The first mistake was to get married. All the husbands will tell you the same thing. But I see a couple coming from there, newly married. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Whatever I tell you, you'll still get married. So let me tell you something that you can actually improvise on. Okay, let's start with the first mistake that actually costed me more than $80,000. Some of you might be aware that few months ago, I got my first home here in Canada. While we started looking for it, in the month of August 2019, we wasted around 10 months to get our first home. And by delaying that decision by 10 months, we actually wasted around $80,000. How come? The home that we got, we saw a very similar home right in the start of our search, which was around $65,000 cheaper. Obviously, the price of the houses get increased. It got increased by $65,000 only in 10 months. And also, in the meanwhile, we wasted around seventeen dollars to $18,000 paying the rent, which eventually turns out to be more than $80,000, which is approximately 45 to 46 lakh rupees. And I had our own reasons why we had to wait for 10 months. Firstly, because my credit score was not good. I'll come to that in the second mistake. Then I waited because my wife did not have the PR. We waited also because we wanted to save some more down payment towards the first home. We also had a couple of other reasons why we waited. But eventually that all turns out to be excuses. And by the way, I came to Canada in late 2017. So if you calculate the loss from then, it would eventually be around $120,000 dollars $130,000. Oh no! Right, so learning for you, what you can learn from my biggest mistake. First of all, you should plan to get your first home as early as possible. Every person says that here in Canada that you should enter the market as early as possible. You're wasting a lot of money if you're paying the rents. Even if you sell your home um, around the same price, five years later, you'll have all that money that you'll pay in rent in your pocket. So obviously you'll save tons of money if even you want to move out from the country, if you want to move to a different place after three, four years, you will eventually save a lot of money if you get your first home early in Canada. All right, now let me tell you my second mistake. In December 2018, I went to India for a short break for my marriage. And uh, just before going to India, I remember going to a supermarket. I actually went there to buy some groceries and they offered me a credit card with a cash back of $25, something like welcome bonus of $25. I grabbed it and I paid the transaction of that day through that credit card and I forgot about it. So the remaining amount that I did not pay was just $19. Obviously, I did not do it deliberately. And I went to India, I totally forgot about it. When I came back, I moved to a different place. So I did not get the statements also. And that actually hurt my credit score badly. And just because of those $19, my credit history got hit badly month after month for seven, eight months. When I realized it, it was too late because my mortgage pre-approval application got declined and I had to postpone my plans of getting the first home. So what you should learn from this mistake is that you should take only those credit cards that you actually need, make the payments right at the time. And also there are a few other tips like you should 
use your credit only until 30%. So if you have got a credit limit of around $10,000, you should only use $3,000 and not more than that. Well, all right, the third mistake is quite personal. I am actually a very friendly guy and I used to be a party guy. But since I came here and I started this YouTube channel, I got too much into it. When I came here, obviously I made a couple of friends and uh, they used to invite me to their homes for, for partying and all. And I used to think that if I invest the same time in making those videos, there was a time when I was making daily videos. So I thought that if I use the time to uh, you know, build up this channel and a new career for myself to help people, it would eventually be good for me. It's good for a longer run, but yes, you actually should socialize as well. What should happen is that there should be a perfect balance between socializing and your work. When we come to a new place, we obviously come with big dreams that we will have a bigger career, we'll have much more bank balance, a bigger car, maybe a big home. So we start working over time. I keep talking to many people and most of them say that they don't have time. Why? Because when you're here, you have to do all your work by yourself, like uh, cleaning the dishes, like uh, preparing food, like uh, washing the dishes, like uh, cleaning your home. You have to do it all by yourself, so you don't have servants. So managing time gets very difficult. So if you prioritize your career, your family, you should also prioritize socializing outside, especially after this COVID times or during these COVID times, it's very difficult to socialize um, you know, in person. So whenever you get time, Whenever you get an opportunity that you can socialize with your friends, I would suggest you do not skip it. Do not do the mistake that I did. Uh, now, many people don't invite me for parties because obviously I used to decline their offers initially. But yes, definitely I have improved on that bit as well. I try to party a lot. I try to socialize a lot. Whenever I get any opportunity, I do socialize with my friends. Your parents, your siblings, your relatives might be in your home country. So your friends are your extended family here. So take time to spend with them and have a lovely time with them. All right, talking about my last mistake, which is procrastination. So when my wife came here in July 2019, we initially thought that we'll apply for her PR right away. She came here on a visitor visa, by the way. So we, we thought that we'll apply her PR right away but we wasted four months. We started to enjoy our time. Obviously we are newly married, so we started to enjoy the place, to enjoy our time, to go to Montreal, to you know enjoy every weekend in the beaches, uh, in going to Toronto, every time. What we should have done instead, we should have enjoyed, but after applying for our PR. Now, because of that, what happened is that she got her work permit after three, four months in the month of March, then COVID happened, she could not work, all the frustration also was, was building up. And then eventually she got her PR this week, which is still good that she's got her PR now, but eventually after almost 11 months, she got her PR. So I'll still suggest all of you guys that if you are actually you know, going to apply for any, um, any PR or any kind of visa, actually go for it. Do not wait for anything. Do not procrastinate such important things. I actually made a video about it to advise you guys that you should not procrastinate. This is probably the biggest mistake that we guys make and I did that mistake. I am really feeling guilty about it. Uh, but yes, these things happen, but you should learn from your mistakes. And that is the reason why I want to tell you that if you actually are applying for your spousal PR or anything like that, do apply for that PR. Try to estimate the time, how much it will take. Do not get frustrated with that thing. And then when you apply the PR, enjoy your time. It's your time. You should definitely enjoy it to the best. All right, guys. So those were the four big mistakes that I've done after coming to Canada in the last couple of years. And I definitely don't want you to do these mistakes. So I really hope that you would have liked this video. If you did, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any feedback, please put it down in the comment section below. And yes, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again for watching this video.